Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Northern TCG. Also very stern intro. It's way too early for you to be putting shit on me. I'm very fragile right now. I need you to understand this. It's been a late... And be nice to me. It's been a long day. It's been day. a long fucking day. Ugh. A long fucking week for me. Uh, so yeah, starting on week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I'm having a bad time in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Uh, and I don't really want to go into it that much. Uh, very briefly, uh, didn't do well on Tuesday because I slapped the deck together, um, hoping that it'd do well despite the cards I was missing. It didn't. Uh, similar today, even, I slapped a deck together, had too many cards in it, and didn't work at all. Uh, so, yeah, I went X5 today. For context, today was Yu-Gi-Oh! States. Everybody knows this. Do they? Yeah. Did you? You knew. Everybody knows. Moving on, Ben! Ah, uh, so my States journey started really, really well. Uh, my first two rounds, I could not have chosen better hands for all my hands. Even the one of the five hands that I lost, I couldn't have chosen a better five hands to try and play through the board. It was just the fact that I didn't open any hand traps. And that was a problem. Um, so I played Melodious for the event, uh, which had not been going very well at locals, but I had some kind of things that I wanted to change up in the list, changed up, uh, proved, like, was a lot better with the changes. Um, so in testing, like, with the extra changes was great. In practice today, still good, but not, like, amazing good. Um, so I, I essentially was playing the Desires build, switched over to a Pross build. Um, pretty much every time today where I had the Pross, I didn't use it. So, right. like, it was often the card that I was discarding because it would then lock me out of the Concerto being able to go to the bottom of the deck. Um, so, yeah, a lot of times I just kind of didn't use it. The one time I did use it, that I can at least remember, I just revealed three hand traps and was like, okay. Actually, I'm fairly sure the two times that I used it today, I revealed three hand traps both times uh, and was just like, hmm. the first time I was like, well, at least I didn't reveal any information about my deck. I am scooping and then pick my <laughs> cards up. And the second time, yeah. Oh, no, the, there was one time where it was busted. Um, so at one point I had done, I'd input my opponent during their combo, had like, in hand, still had Ostinato and two ways to full combo. So I was like, we're Gucci. Uh, top deck to Orange Light off the top of the deck. And I was like, okay, activate Prosp. Evenly matched. Thank you very much. Evenly matched. Orange Light for the negation. Uh, everything's gone. Thank you, Ostinato. Game. Thank you. Um, so that was that. Overall, I went X4. Disappointing. Um, got rough kind of through the middle. Um, which is always kind of going to happen because, you know, Pen going to Penrith is cursed for me. You don't like Penrith. Um, it's really fucking cursed. Yeah. Some bad shit. Anyway, personal things. Um, but yeah, outside of that, can't complain. Very tired. Whoever decided to do all the roadworks on the drive home, fuck you. Yeah, fuck that guy. Like, have them start at like 9, 10 p.m., not when we're driving back through, because yeah. that was like a half an hour detour. I mean, for me, it only added seven minutes to the journey, but I dedicated that way already. Uh, okay, I got stuck. You know how they were dropping cones on the main highway on the way uh -huh, down? Uh -huh. I got stuck in a lot of that. Were there mm. the police there when you were there, by the way? I hope not, because I was doing the legal speed limit as required by New South Wales law. There was at least three police cars when I went through that area. Maybe I was, they came there later. I was like... Huh. There was like one as you were going onto the highway. So if that police car wasn't there... So yeah, I don't think I saw that. Yeah, okay. They probably hadn't... Yeah. And also there was a massive amount of traffic. So it's not like I could have been speeding, even if I wanted to, which yeah. I wouldn't. When I got there, there was like... Traffic was horrendous because there was police everywhere. And like everyone one was thing, doing 30. The one like, thing that got me was going down Bulleye Pass... Because everyone's using that road, there was a lot of cars coming up, and mm. every three cars it was like a flashbang of LED lights ah. straight into my eyeballs. I'm like, yeah. good, yes, I don't need my eyes, thank you. So the trip home was great. Uh, made this whole trip go really. I will say the first half of my trip was great because I got to listen to the Billie Eilish album again. Okay. A new one just came out. Good plug. She really needed it. <laughs> 
anyway. Anyway. Uh, uh, so outside of us, um, everyone had an all right time today. Um, we had a lot of X3s. Yeah, bunch of X3s. Uh, one X2. Kurt topped. Yes, well done to Kurt. Uh, unfortunately, did. got knocked out as soon as he got into yeah. top 16. First but round of Swiss solid was effort. gone. Uh, um, he got his mat that he was after. Yes, got the Light Swan mat. Not the, this Light Swan mat. One. The new Light Swan mat. Yeah. Oh. He also uh, got the sleeves. Which he I'm, did get I'm, the sleeves. I saw them and I don't think I like them. I'm like, the triangle's weird. The choice of just putting I, a fucking mm. triangle on this, just for reasons, is odd. <laughs> It feels like it was like halfway through being a Master Duel sleeve and then someone at headquarters is like, why are we making sleeves for Master Duel? Yeah. And they're like, oh, we'll just give these away to people. States. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just quickly on the uh, top 16, um, I'm just going to read through them. Uh, the top of the top 16 uh, after Swiss was Phantom Knight Adventure. Yes. Which is kind of wild. Uh, Snake Eyes Ash, uh, Fire King Snake Eye, uh, Pearly, Poe, obviously, mm. uh, Paleo Tear, Fire King Snake Eye, uh, Rika Plant Pile, uh, Centurion Super Heavy, Snake Eyes Cash, Fire King Snake Eye, Vanquished Soul, that's Stephen Medhurst, uh, Fire King Snake Eye again, Pearly again, uh, Kurt with his Centurion, and then Double Tempi at the bottom. Yeah. So no branded, no pure cash and only a couple of tempi and no melodious no melodious sad couldn't it is sad couldn't get there it's it's a very good engine and surprisingly splashable so i'm surprised that a few more of the top decks were playing it because i didn't see any melodious splashes oh sorry not true i saw a melodious voiceless voice mm. across the day but other than that i didn't see like any sort of melodious um snake eyes or melodious whatever whatever's i saw a lot okay so they were there yeah it's just like, clearly not as good as these other lists something that i saw in abundance was uh melodious voiceless voice mm -hmm. i was well it has natural <clears throat> excuse me has natural syn uh, i can't talk now it has natural Pod synergy <laughs> <laughs> um it has natural synergy because they're all light types so you're not locked yeah. out of anything and it, you get the fucking, the pendulum -y. The pendulum -y. Yeah. You get that, the fusion dragon that negates. Yeah. On your board. Yeah. Which is fine and dandy. Mm-hmm. Um, were there any highlights across the day for me? I beat a stun player in time. They tried to do the life point thing, but I did more of the life point thing to them. So I was like, haha. At, at one point today, Jake walked up to me and said, I'm sick of people flipping floodgates and saying they're sorry about it. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Quick rant. Stop doing that. If you're going to play floodgates, just be an asshole about it. Because saying sorry doesn't make it better. <laughs> rant over. So, we move on to some news. Uh, we start very briefly with Master Duel. Uh, so they have one of the two events going. I think the next one starts on Tuesday. Uh, but also coming up... Uh, you I really may... enjoyed that single event. Hmm? I really enjoyed the single event. It's still going. I haven't finished it. As much as the gems? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As much as it was worth. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the next one will start soon. But they are also, you may remember we spoke about the uh, OCG Tactical Tridex they're releasing soon. Mm -hmm. They're releasing on Master Duel first as, like, sort of like the Triad Duel thing. Oh. So for, like, three or four days, you can pick one of the three decks and do your three, get your pack kind of thing. Oh, yeah. It's a really good sales tactic for the OCG. Yes. Uh, so, moving on. Um, I kind of glazed over one piece of this news, but it's tied in nicely in that Kaibo is getting some love. Uh, so, last week it was announced that uh, XYZs are getting some, some retrains. Uh, the long and short of them is that it helps you make ABC more, but it's not that good. It locks you into light types. Oh, yeah. You don't want to do that in ABC. No. You need to make IPs and shit. <laughs> yeah. It's very limiting. And, like, it's not even just walking into Nibiru. It's running at full speed. <laughs> but, Jake, Nibiru is a light type. Synergy. <laughs> like, it's... I've looked I'm at lights. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to link off your Nibiru to my line of the light charm. <laughs> Whee! 
and they make nothing because light very rarely gets any love. What if you put the Nibiru in their graveyard? Oh, and then call by it. No, 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 no. No, no. So here's what, here's, here's what you're going to do is... Ben, we, we don't have time. <laughs> what you're going to do is cause a gas leak. Okay? <laughs> Where is this going? So that when you get nibbed, you can put the nib token in your opponent's graveyard and they will think it's normal. And then you line up <laughs> Charma back to your opponent's nib, to- uh, your nib token. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I don't know what you do at that point because I don't know where any Link yeah, 3 you, lies. Uh, hope for the best at that point. But um, hey, maybe your opponent died from the gas leak. Maybe. Um, but also on the uh, Kyber train, uh, Blue Eyes is getting a structure deck. Uh, so I think it was announced that they're getting eight new cards. Uh, I don't have the release date at this point. Um, it'll be interesting to see what direction they take it. They kind of make it more fusion Oh, I, Didn't I see there was a leak that it was going to be like a five-headed Blue Eyes dragon was the point of the new boss monster? Oh, look, potentially. Who knows? I certainly don't. Is it going to be a fusion of Twin Burst and Ultimate? Maybe. Maybe. Is it going to be garbage? Almost definitely. Maybe. Um, We also got some cards from the Animation Chronicle. Uh, So, uh, what's his name? Dog. Bakura. Uh, That guy. Bakura got some support. Got a cool Um, fusion. Yeah, the fusion's cool. Uh, Sort of harks back to the anime. Um, Super poly target. It is, of fiends and zombies. So, Which is uh, actually going to be relevant shortly. Well, the fiend part, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Hello, you bell. <laughs> Goodbye, you bell. Uh, um, it also gets... In Fiendsmith, you can, uh, you can get rid of... You can super poly away your opponent's fucking uh, DDDXs, as well as the other fiend stuff they leave on their board. Well, yeah, their entire board is fiends, so you just go... I make this. This Imagine... is my skeleton. Say hello to skeleton. What he do? I don't know. He's going to destroy a battle. No. That's pretty good. No. Um, oh, and he um, has an effect to immediately after it resolves a normal summon. Ah! Break your opponent's board and keep going. Mm. I like this. It's not bad. Uh, there's also an equip spell that I don't care about and a uh, continuous trap that I also... Animation Chronicle. Where do we get that? Uh, we probably won't get it for a while. I th- is it our end of your set? Potentially. Is Animation Chronicle? Because Unity and shit is our Megatins this year. Mm. And it's too late for it to be in our Battles of Legend. Yes. So it'd have to be our end of year. It'd set. have to be end of year, if not, ever, like, it could just be, like, It'll be our end of well year down the end. Yeah. Um, also in that set, uh, Allure Queen gets her Link 3 from the anime. Um, I don't even know I what care that not, is. I care not to read it. Um... It doesn't really have much to do with the original Allure Queen. I think it's just like buffing them up. Isn't Allure Queen a Queen of ritual? No, it's one of those level monsters. It's like Allure Queen level 3, Allure Queen level 5. I don't remember that at all. It's fine. It's not going to be impactful is the main thing. Um, you gonna make, it's going to be impactful against my Dungeon Dice Monster deck. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, so, to the biggest outrage of the week, Rarity 2 has been announced in its entirety. Uh, we were it wrong. Is, we were very wrong, but in the worst possible way. Even the stuff that I was like, this will be in here. It's in there. It's bad. It's good. For bad reasons. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, given that some cards in here are worth a reprint, I get that. But there's some stuff in here that I feel like just didn't need to be here. And cards that were more pressing in need of reprints that should have been. Yes. Uh, Coral Dragon. I don't think that needed a reprint. It's only ever had one reprint. Was it worth 10 cents? Yes. However, only ever had one reprint. Trap Tricks Reflesia. That's had a few reprints now. Do I have the ulti? I don't know. I feel like there was a time when I was chasing the ulti. And then I got it and lost it. Uh, Heretic Seals? I mean, for Tempi? Quartzy Rarezy? Yes. Yeah, true. Uh, just straight up polymerization. Um, Shit art too, probably. Yeah, I need to double check the art. I don't... Oh, no, I think it's... A, I think it's original Animated art. Or original art? I think it's original art. It doesn't have the monsters. It just has the swirl. I don't like that one. 
I like that one. I like the I, one from the anime. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, Forbidden Lance. Uh, um, I did appreciate Xyz Encore because I'd like to just have yes. them, and then when an Xyz deck comes up, I don't have to think about spending fifty dollars each a copy yes. to get them to yes. out Xyz. That is the one card from the set that I pre-ordered. Um, Sorry, I pre-ordered two cards. I pre-ordered Quartzy Rarezy of the other Rescue Cat. Sure. Wait. I'm sorry. Rescue. Yeah, Rescue Cat. Wait. The alt art. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have. I have, hate that art. I already it have three nice ones of the regular. So bad. Yeah. It's so bad. Um, Ultimate Slayer. Card has not seen play for a very long time. I played it at Oceans two years ago. It was so long ago. Yeah. It. Mm. Um, and Did it ever get a reprint? No. Uh, they didn't make a tin. I don't think they got it in the mega tin. Um, good reprint. So, yeah. Look, it's good for people coming back into the game because there's some stuff in there that's important. The set but lacks you... so much punch. Oh, yeah. Like, there's nothing that sits in there and you go, oh, 100%, have to have like, that. Pre sales for quarter century solemns were like 50 bucks. I was like, that seems really low for this. Well, I don't know if any, like, one card has topped the highest of Rarity Collection 1, which is obviously well, that was like 250. That's a big number. Yeah, but, like, if the idea is to continue on, hmm. then you'd want something that's as chase as that. You were always going to run out of cards to reprint that were worth reprinting in 80 card sets. The caveat to that that you didn't want to reprint later. Yes. I, I don't know why the Cash Hero cards aren't in here. The Cash Hero cards, the Tyrellamon cards, the Mandium cards. Yeah. They, like, at the very least, should have put Fenrir in here and then banned it on the next ban list. Yeah, so that's another thing. That is, was part um, of the reason why I wanted the card in here. Was to be a hint to be like, oh, they're going to get rid of it? They need to get rid of Fenrir. Fenrir needs to go. Yeah. It's... Like, now that it's a problem in uh, Snake Eye... Yeah. You can limit Fenrir. That's fine. Yeah, do but the Master Duel strategy. It, it, it three one. is not okay. New. Um, so we move on to the newest set that's coming out. Uh, the uh, uh, Rage of the Abyss. Ah, water. The water set. I was so very keen for this set. And now I know what the Abyss is. And I'm very sad. Sharks. Sharks. It's so boring. I want to XC Summon. Picked the most boring water mechanic. They also just got support. Yep. We could have had so much. Instead, we got more shark. It's so boring. What's with Konami's hard on for shark? They do love a shark. Um, Was that character popular in the anime? Like, popular enough to get... Literally support, and then inside of a year get a main set. Legitimately, of the protagonists of that series, I only know the main guy with the most annoying Utopia. Voice on the planet. Yeah, and that, yeah. and Shark. Yeah. Any of the other main characters? No idea what they play. Yeah, I don't like Sexel. No, neither do I. I can't. It is the, worst the main TV character I voice. I can't stand it. I would watch Sevens before I watch watch Sexel. Um, and yeah, I again care not to read any of these. It's just. Uh, making Yggsies. It's the, the most fucking high tempo mechanic in the game right now. Um, they did announce that for uh, where was it getting reprinted? Uh, Trident Dragon's getting a reprint. Yes, in the Megatons, which is ideally too late. Eh. Because admittedly, today's not a great representation, but of all the other states, it had a huge yeah. representation in Top Cut. I got smokescreen twice today. I only versed one today. Uh, but deck lockdown really hurts it. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> and then by the time that my deck lockdown was just about to finish, he mistaking arrested me. I'm like, I already can't search. <laughs> 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 I'm like, this is only hurting you more because you can't do it until the end of your turn. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, 
uh, power filter. Very good card today. Yeah? Yes. Especially when I always had the orange light for the ash. So the normal summon the ash. Uh, go ash effect, I fucking hit it with the... Whatchamacallit. I hit it with... Orange light. Orange light. Remove it. And they were just like... Bus. <laughs> so, my one Snake Eyes matchup today, I opened the Ash that I had as a call by target. I was like, ah, mm. oh, well, fuck. Okay, I guess if I have it, I'll use it. And then um, he'd summoned Osh Oak and Ash and Poplar, and he used Ash and Oak, like Ash effect sending Oak. So I was like, Ash? Hand Ash? Mm. And he's like, uh oh. <laughs> it was like a super awkward board of like IP Zelantis and a Poplar. I was like, yeah. you are in trouble, sir. I was like, yeah, ash me in a weird spot. I was like, you played it weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. <nah. laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Sungan Summoning is also getting a reprint in the Mega Tin. For reasons. They actually confirmed that? If you zoom, does it have the Mega Tin? Number on it? Because I thought they're just doing buddy things, being like... Oh, uh, LEDE. Yeah. So potentially not. Because they've been doing a series of posts like this that are like, oh, these cards go together. And in that post specifically, they just were like, it's in the Mega Tin. Oh, also, circling back to Animation, animation Chronicle, uh, the gimmick puppets are getting another piece of support uh, oh. in Killer Knight. Uh, so, if this card is in your hand, target a gimmick puppet monster in your grave or one in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to its owner's field in defense, then special summon this card. If this card is sent to the graveyard, step from your hand, add it to your hand. Okay. I'm, my brain's, I'm too tired to think through how that works. That's okay. Um, we get another piece of Galaxy Eye support in 7th Emperor Space Time. Um, it... Is it a good Xyz? No, it's a spell. You can stop reading. <laughs> <laughs> um, Galaxy Eyes get a lot of good Xyz monsters. I don't give a fuck about anything that goes in the main deck for it, though. Yeah, that's fair. Um, they got so... that Poplar. That's good. That's all they probably needed, so... <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Off you go. It seems, though, that we're being listened to. By the higher ups. We certainly are. I was hoping Jake was going to cover this. Retro Pack is being released released in August of 23. Uh, <laughs> August 23rd. It's currently North America exclusive. Yeah, currently, which is not ideal. Um, and so far, the only things we know that are going to begin it are the three monsters that are on the box in Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, and Dark Magician. Oh, it's just a straight reprint of Retro Pack. Oh, it's just straight up Retro Pack. Yeah, they're literally sure. in the description, they're like, Sorry about us never releasing this to North America back in the day. We're releasing this to North America. <laughs> Meanwhile, Europe and Oceania are like, well, we got it back in the day. But we want it again. I'll just order some boxes for the draft. Me and Bragg were talking about it. We're just going to import. If it's a North America exclusive, we'll just import the boxes for our draft tournament we're doing. Oh, yeah, true. And that'll be the crescendo of draft is Retro Pack. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, we do get a V-Jump promo. Uh, there's a few, but I'm only going to talk about this one. Um, so this one is uh, called Magistus Chirozo. Uh, it's a little fusion guy, level 4. We don't know its effect yet. Uh, does it have a date? Yes, June 7th we'll know about its effect. Its effect will be... It's a vanilla monster. Okay. It's a vanilla monster, and its flavor text will be Some white people find this spicy. <laughs> It's a cute little guy. Um, but yeah, it ties into the fact that in the OCG stories that we'll have a heavy focus on Magistus. So chances are there will just be a whole bunch of spellcaster support, pendulum or otherwise coming out. They could have just, you know, come up with a better thing to talk about. Why? What's wrong with Magistus? It's just kind of dull. We've had seven years of Sky Striker. I didn't say that was good either. I'm just saying, I feel like if you're going to compare them, I feel like I'd want to hear more about Magistus than I would about fucking Ray. I don't want to hear another thing about Ray ever again. Tell me about how you played against Sky Striker today. I didn't actually. Thank oh. fuck. I'm very grateful I didn't have to play against Sky Striker. Um, is that it for news? Am I breathing through this podcast as quickly as possible? There's some more. It's um, late. Yeah, there's some more uh, Vijan promos, but only one of them seemed okay. Um, splitting Plantarian. Uh, 
it's basically a rescue rabbit, but for level three insect monsters. Okay. And their effects negate it. That made it even worse. And they're banished during the end phase. It's alright, they're not it's staying good. on the board, ideally. Yeah. You're gonna X's with them. Into what? Like Digital bugs. No, I think you're gonna X these into the three. Oh, Cicada, Cicada King? King? Yeah, potentially. Like, I guess it can it's can summon fucking If you can get it out on top of your other heck? Yeah. Yeah. I mean their effects are negated again, but that's okay. Um Let's make Cicada King uh, yeah. link them off into a B trooper link. Yeah, look, it's it's fine. It's insects. No one cares that much. Remember when insects... I had this thought the other day. Remember when insects had their time to shine? They had their brief shining moment in the first release of um, the thing you just said. Insects. The archetype. Bee Trooper. Bee Trooper. Yeah, people were like, this, the first this iteration... actually pretty good. And then we're like, it searches Max C. And we're like, that's going to be cool when they put it in Master Duel. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the other thing is too, it was great on the first release because they hadn't released the Super Poly Tiger for it. <laughs> Guys, we got support. Does this break our board? Yes. Yeah, is it really hard for us to make? Also, yes. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Uh, unless you're a big trooper player, in which case you might not. Uh, moving on to some questions though, uh, if you weren't aware we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, our first question this week comes to us from Guy. Do you prefer nice shoes, nice jewellery and accessories, or nice clothing? All of the above. If I had to choose between the three, it's probably shoes. I like having nice shoes. I don't particularly care about like name brand clothing for the most part. It's more so if I like a particular piece I or could, a particular brand. I could get away with only wearing clothes from H&M and nice shoes. Mm -hmm. Remember, Jake, if you put nice rims in a shit box, at least people go, there's some nice rims on that shit box. <laughs> hey, I owned a 93 Nissan Pulsar. I know full well about putting rims on a shit box. <laughs> Um, and yeah, jewellery, like, I've only started wearing this in the last sort of, not oh, nearly a year now that I think about it, and it's only on me because I can't be fucked putting it back on, because the clasp is, like, flat, and it's really hard to take on and off. Jake didn't even get the Gucci ring. No, I didn't. I couldn't afford it at the time. But it's alright, I didn't have to have it taken off my finger by a medical professional. <laughs> He's not even watching the podcast, you could have taken a better shot than that. That's fine. I don't, it's fine. He has fat fingers. Uh, One next person question. featured on this podcast once, once went all full uh, King George, or King whatever the fuck his name is. What's the king's name? The one with the sausage fingers? What's the king's name, man? Charles. King Charles. Yeah. Someone, went, someone that was once featured on this podcast. Is that a known thing King about Charles. King Charles that he has sausage fingers? It is my space. <laughs> you ever look at that man's fingers? <laughs> the Germans be like, make that <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ uh, next question is again from Rye Guy. Uh what are some decks with some undiscovered potential I'm cooking right now uh, he cooking. mentioned sharks but fuck you spoiler alert, uh, alert. you uh, got support you got a lot of support the radar is very much on for them also someone topped YCS Oop. this year playing sharks Oop. this is very clearly the darkest timeline Ooh, I wonder if my fish stone eyes went up in press. Potentially. Never been reprinted. True. And they didn't get put into Rarity Collection 2 where they probably, probably should have been. been. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, <sighs> it's definitely going to be the Megatons. Because I think it was in Pride and Unity. Oh, uh, yeah, true. I need to sell my fish stone eyes. True, before people realise. Yes. Um, decks with undiscovered potential. Frogs. I f mm. You know why I say that? Because they suck now. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, no, Ronan, don't. I feel like Shadol could probably make a, a bit of a, a go in this format. Yeah. Doll fusion is great. And just being able to fuse in general, I feel, is very good being right now. Being able to win to your opponent after they activate fucking Poplar effect in hand. Yeah. Poplar effect in hand? Uh, schism? The only thing that hurts them really is like the existence of bestials. Yeah, but like, schism? <laughs> um, Just you'll target your graveyard. 
schism? <laughs> and which one though? <laughs> um, and then oh, that was one misplay I made today in my very tired state in round eight. I declared target on an effect that didn't need me to declare a target. I was like, why did I do this? You broadcasted. Yeah. Stupid play. Stupid. It happens. Like, it was, what, uh, six? No. Yeah, it would have been past six o'clock by that point, right? I don't know. It's been a very long day. Uh, next question is Eight from 6i6. Uh, which of RAO2 uh, would you like to get in the new old style Plat Secret? My what? So the new Plat Secret is like in the old style where it just th- like hits you in the face with glitter. Think like Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon Special Edition. It's like everything has secret bleed. Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't want any of them in that rarity. When I found out that they were that rarity, I was disgusted. Uh, it could be like last time when they were like, Prismatic Secret Rares. We did the trimming. <laughs> You have a little water. <laughs> Look at it. It is so shiny. <laughs> Look at your little water. Ooh, choo, choo, choo. <laughs> We're so good at flavor text. We Ooh, did. Choo, 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 choo. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we have lost the plot. It's all right. We're nearly at the end. Uh, and do you think the plat secret in this trumps QCR? No. It's really bad. I'm sick of seeing QCRs, but I do not want to see those. <laughs> You're still stuck in it, are you? <laughs> Just get it out. Get it out of your system. Oh, we're, nearly at the, we're at the last question now. Uh, this one's also from 6 i 6 What card do you think is the chase card slash best card to pull and resell in Rarity Collection 2? I already forgot what's in the set. I feel like... Draw. Well, he's mentioned IP Appalooza. On their third reprint in fucking... <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, the uh, Starlight has, like, tanked in price. I don't think anyone's paying full price for any of those anymore. Apple the is Apple definitely Lizard, getting banned. I feel like it could, hey. With, the, yeah, with the, how prevalent it is in the current format and it getting reprinted in Rarity Collection, it's fucking getting banned. Yeah, I think Apple's going to have to go. Um, Crossout, uh, he also mentioned, is a potential. Yeah. Yeah. Troll. Um, Draw. I'm just trying to think if there's any others. Shit draw um, up, but draw. Cosmic Cyclone is a decent one. Twin Twisters. I just like that Twin Twisters is getting a nice reprint. It has an ulti. Yeah, I know. But I, I own that, that ulti. Yeah, I don't. I, don't. I so, bent one of my ulties. <laughs> you what? I bent one of my ulties. No. Ah, that's fine. You can't tell. So I went to put... Um, an Iron Thunder, one of those garbage counter traps in a sleeve the other day, just fully crunched the top of it. I was like, oh, just as well I don't like this card. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was putting mine into a sleeve, the sleeve was very tight, and the top half like bent a little, and I was like... I think I may have done that to one of my invos as well. Why do they have to fucking make the They're new so ultis so goddamn thin? It, it was not even the new ultis, it was just that period of time. Like, OTS like 5 to OTS 9 or 10. But even current ones, like Droplets, was still a very, is a very thin ulti. Maybe it's just spells. Yeah, but why spells? I want thick spells, Konami. Blue's thick. Blue's the thinnest colour. I would ask you to explain the science on that. But that is the end of the podcast. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week when we have more energy. Peace!